Hey everyone, I am so excited to talk about these brushes with you today. I have been tweeting about them, Facebooking and so forth for the last few months. I've seen them mentioned on YouTube for years, never really looked into them until I started thinking about doing my grown ass women series, wanted to explore some more brushes and so I started ordering them I think right after Thanksgiving and really enjoy, I ordered a few single brushes here or there, really enjoyed them and then was very flattered when Sedona Lace reached out to me and asked if they could send me some brushes for me to review for you. So I um, happily replied that I would be happy to on the condition that they would also give away a set of brushes to one of you. So I'd mentioned in a video a little while back in my GAW brushes guide that uh, if you commented on that video you'd be entered to win. And so first I want to start off by announcing the winner of a full set of the Professional Vortex brushes. So, the winner is, I think she would say her screen name is Mrs. Rackleff. It's M-R-S-R-A-C-K-L-E-F-F. -F. Congratulations, your name should be appearing around here somewhere. If you will email me at um, the email is provided in the description box, my email address down there. Email me, Mrs. Ratcliffe, or whatever your real name is, um, your information, and I will let you know how to um, get your brushes sent to you, because Sedona Lace is going to ship them directly to you for me. So thank you, Sedona Lace. Okay, let's talk about some brushes. So, like I said, um, I have ordered quite a few uh, brushes on my own, and then they sent me these as well. And... Um, just so we get all the business out of the way. I'm not being paid for this. These are my honest opinions. I did receive this brush set for free, so thank you Sedona Lace. There is a coupon code that never expires. It's in the, down there, and I don't get any kickbacks. So whether you order from Sedona Lace or not, whether you use that coupon code or not, the only one who's getting money out of this deal is Sedona Lace. So, anyway, Sedona Lace, I, I really like their brushes. I Here's what I like about them, to be honest with you. I like the quality. I'm very pleased with the price point. I'm exceptionally pleased at the low shipping costs and, um, and the speed in which they get to me. And I find that their customer service is incredibly responsive. Now let me get the cons out of the way so we can talk about the brushes. There are not as many brushes to choose from as other companies, but that might not be a bad thing unless you need a brush for every little tiny thing. Um, sometimes I feel like we buy into this hype that we need every single kind of brush. Really probably not. But for those of you that like having a million different options, there aren't a million. Maybe there's a hundred thousand, but not a million. And I did notice some initial shedding on the brushes that really have been solved once I've washed them. So, that being said, let me start with the ones that are specific to the brush set. So I, they come with this nice little guide, and um, so I'm just going to refer to it so that I don't forget anything because I've been known to forget things. So this is the first one. It's called the Jumbo Fan Brush. It's it's big. It's this is definitely not something you would travel with, and um, it's the FB01. It's very soft. I don't know why I'm holding it closer. That won't tell you how soft it is. I use this specifically for highlighter. I've also used this for dusting face powder all over my face. I've just been having fun playing with this. I've never had a brush fan of this substance before, so this is great. This is great also to use with the Hourglass Ambient Powders, of which I have one. And so I really like, but yeah, highlight. And because it's thin, you can... And then, okay. Tulip Contour Brush. Um, I will say I've not used this brush as much as I should. I really think it, I love that this one comes to a very defined point as compared to other ones that are similar to it. So obviously that point would be great for contouring. Um, I have seen it used and haven't used it myself for blush where you kind of just roll it on the cheek and I'm, I'm going to try that. But I've been having a difficult time with blush lately and there's another brush that Sedona Lace makes that I've been using for brush, for blush, which I'll talk about later. I've talked about this, it's in my favorites brushes, and it's the Dome Contour Brush. This is in the set. I would also ordered this as one of the first brushes that I ordered from Sedona Lace. And it's very small, let's say, as compared to this guy. And it's really, um, this is the clean one that I have. And it's really great for, like I said, I think because it's so dense, it's too much 
for blush, but I like it to put on the contour and then blend it out. And they say that's exactly what you're supposed to do, actually, to buff the contour powder into cheekbones, temples, and the jawline. Um, this is also recommended by them to use to apply liquid or cream foundation. I've never tried that, but I could always use another foundation brush, so I will give that a go. Now, speaking of foundation, hands down my favorite, um, the Sedona Lace FB07, and it is flat. It's dirty. This one is, is very dirty. I use this a lot. I flip-flop between this and my Beauty Blender, um, so when it's clean, it's a little tighter, but... Uh, this is a flat top, basically a flat top kind of buffer, I wouldn't call it a kabuki brush, but um, I don't know what makes this one better than all the other ones out there. Um, I wish I could tell you, but there's something about the finish on this. I feel like it's a little smaller, it's a little... The brushes, the, the bristles feel more synthetic and I feel like less absorbent. That must be it than other um, brands and so it spreads the foundation on more evenly there is more shedding on this brush I don't know if you can see a little bit right there but they're not falling out they're just kind of sticking up so I don't know but like I said I've never noticed any of them to actually land on my face but I am noticing that some individual brushes brush hairs are sticking out and I don't know if that's going to come up on camera, but um, these, these are all, I believe, available to purchase individually as well. So I really like this. Next on their list is the Universal Blender. And this was definitely, I have, I think, two or three of these now. This is very similar in size and shape to the uh, MAC 217 brush. It's flat this way. It domes out on the sides. It's great for packing color on and then for also blending in the crease. This brush, as are all, all their eye brushes I've noticed, the handles are a little thinner over here than other brushes, than other brush brands. And I personally find that it's easier to hold the brushes that way. It's just one of those little details that I never um, thought about until I was presented with the option of having a thinner handle brush. And um, for me personally, I find it easier to hold them. So um, this is the EB09. And this again, it, available as an individual, and then this came as, in the set. And it's a little dirty, but I have dirtier ones in my bathroom. Okay, flat synthetic. This is kind of a cool one. It's your basic flat brush, but because it's synthetic, you can use it to pack on um, concealer and spots. I'm trying to, what do they say to do it for? A creamy eyeshadow base. Yes, this would be good <laughs> for like your Maybelline. Um, color tattoos, creamy pigment type things. The synthetic part makes it pick up the product better and what personally for me is it, it helps clean it. It's easier to clean when it's synthetic brushes so that's a plus. Then the synthetic blender. Okay this one I really I use a lot. I reach for this one a lot. It's shaped very similarly to the MAC 224 except that it's denser. So it's not, it's good for placing product in the crease initially and then because it's dense to blend it out. It won't give you that blown out look from the get go. You have to kind of work at it a little bit, but I like that it's a little more precise. It's a little bit smaller brush head. So for my little lids, I can really get it in there and, and blend. So um, this is the EB13. And again, this was one that I had ordered um, by itself and then it also came in the set. Then we have the pointed crease brush. This one is cool. I don't know what this compares to. This is the EB15. And you see, it's like a really baby version of this big guy. I just love that it's so, um, it can really get into that outer corner and precisely put the color where you want it. And then you kind of take the brush and smush it down and then you can really blend it all out. I'm trying to, I like to, I like to tell you what I use it for and let's see what they say to use it for. Um, it says it's perfect for even the smallest eye spaces and it'll help you blend out cut crease looks. Well, there you go. That's not a look that I really attempt, but if that's something you want to do, it's, it's true. This little point really helps you put the product where you want it and then you smush it as you blend and it blends it all out. Very technical terms we're going for. Okay, this one doesn't read, need a lot of explanation. It's a brow spoolie dual sided thing. So this side you is an angled tip and it's great for putting powder in the brows, and then this is great for brushing out your brow. I should just use my viewfinder to brush my brow out right now. And you can also use it to brush out your lashes. 
you can't have enough of these things really I just I have three of them I love them bent liner admittedly I've never used this obviously since it still has the protective cap on it um, so I can't really tell you anything other than this is interesting because it appears to be flat so that might make it a little more user friendly I really stink at gel eyeliner so I haven't attempted huh you know I'm using the viewfinder which is why I'm looking off to the side I like that hmm, I may give this one a go I've sort of stopped even attempting with the gel eyeliner and the liquid eyeliner but this brush makes it a little more possible so we're gonna give that a try okay the detailed there's two left detailed shader is just a teeny tiny little shader brush and it is also synthetic and it always already has little hair sticking out but it's really tiny it's great for right in there and I like that it's synthetic so it's easy to clean and is there anything they tell you that you need no nope, this is great and then, lastly, is the Angle Detail Brush. This is a little thinner than the one on the spoolie, so this would be great. I mean, you could use it for your brows, but you could also use it to do um, eyeshadow along the lash line here as an eyeliner look, um, or even use it I, maybe for um, gel eyeliner as well. So those are the brushes that are in the set, and I like them all. I've mentioned some of the things that I don't like about them. There are two other brushes I want to show you, except one of them I don't have with me, because... Miss Erin from Busby Style, her name is Erin Busby and her her blog name and her Twitter handle is Busby Style, she's not a company, she's Erin. She was over here filming and she, we had all our stuff laid out and when she packed up, she packed up my blush brush which is a big duo fiber brush and it's just, it's big and the handle's pink and I've been playing with that with blush so I love that brush. And then the other one, I think this is my most recent purchase and I did purchase this as their Kabuki brush, which is just that. I think it comes in other colors, but I'm partial to this one. And it's got to be the softest. It feels like um, like a cut pile, very expensive rug. I mean, it's just so soft. And I, when my blush gets a little out of control or my contour or whatever, I've been using this to blend it out a little bit. And um, oh, it's just so soft. I love it. I just want to cuddle with it. So that is my Sedona Lace collection and a couple more things that I like about them that I forgot to mention. Um, they run sales all the time, like real sales, not sales where they have some product that nobody wants on sale because it's on sale because nobody wants it and they want to get rid of it. I mean, these are like legitimate site-wide sales and I follow them on Twitter, which I highly recommend that you do because then you'll know about the sales. Things like 20% off, 25% off, spend this and get free shipping but it's a reasonable amount of money it's not like spend a hundred dollars and get free shipping it's like thirty dollars i mean it's just great but because they offer sales so often i will warn you they are sold out a lot of the products that you want um they do restock really quickly but it just seems that whenever i'm in the mood to buy something the specific brush i want is not in stock and i end up buying other things which is fine because i end up loving them too so i would say um check the site often if you go to buy right after a big sale, of course they're going to be wiped out. So, you know, don't go shopping right after the sale. Shop during the sale. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And um, thank you again, Stone Lace, for offering to give a whole set, all those brushes, away to one of my viewers. And I'm so excited. Thanks you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.